M0FXB, thought I'd show some of these hotspots together that I built up from DV Mega over the years. So you've got the very oldest one here is the DV Mega Blue Stack has a button. When it's in, it works on the PC. When it's out, it will work on your Android phone via Bluetooth. Then we've got the Blue Gen. This is a P, you know, connect it to your PC via the USB. And it will use the Blue DV system. It's called the Blue Gen. Quite inexpensive, these. I think they're about £60. Uh, if you, you can actually connect it to a Raspberry Pi, and then it will use the Pi Star system, again, via the, the uh, micro USB connector. So I think that's very good value for money. There's no screen on it, although I suppose technically when it's running Pi Star, it could have an OLED screen. So that's the older ones. Now, the next ones I've got are... Now, I see the way that one is a lot brighter. Well, I can actually adjust the screen brightness. Uh, from the screen if I got to remember how to touch the screen there, but you can from the screen I can dim that hotspot plus send DAPnet messages via the screen and um, some new updates coming as well possibly uh, That I will uh, be letting you know about soon so you can see I've got a DAPnet message coming in on the 2.8 inch So that one is a 2.8 inch Genesis. It's probably my favorite size. It's a nice size. It doesn't it sits in the shack quite small and you hardly notice it's there apart from the lovely screen with all the history. 3.5 is, I would say, is the best seller because, you know, 3.5 screen is very, very nice and you get quite a lot of functionality from the screen. Look, there's a, there's a message there, a Poxag message coming through from Pistar. All Pistar hotspots spots will receive Poxag pager messages. You just need to configure and I've made videos on that. Otherwise, I'm not sure if I'll be able to send it now while it because there's, there's activity when there's activity i'm not you know what it's like it doesn't really want to react to my to my functionality so that's the genesis 3.5 has a built-in fan uh, and leds as well there you are i've just turned them on there's a small switch inside you can also get this with the pi 4 just going to see if i can get the screen work in a sec yeah, it doesn't want me to touch it when there's a when there's someone talking. Now it will do DMR, D Star Fusion, NXDN. I'm pretty sure, and the radios I'm using are at the moment ICOM 7100, Yaesu FTM 400, Anytone 578. Okay, I got it on the DAPnet screen. Look, you can update, upgrade Pi Star, update Radio.net with your CSV file. Nexion screen, tap that, you can dim it, remember I said it was a bit bright, turn the screen saver on, reboot, shut down, like I said a new function is coming, I won't tell you about it until it's released. So the radio wise, my Anytone 578 has actually got this, which is a Bluetooth, believe it or not, microphone and it can be wired, but I do it via Bluetooth. But it can, it can be wired and I've got the uh, just a normal cable coming from the, from the radio just here. Which will go into this BT-01. And it's excellent because it's dual band. I mean, let's hold it down. Sub-channel on. And we're now dual band and we get audio. We can change channel. We get everything from this set. PTT as well. Full keypad, full menu look. It's just amazing. It's one of my favorite gadgets for DMR. I kept the 400 because I like the big screen and it's dual band. I know I am going to get the 500, but it's still not going to give me that lovely big screen. So I thought I'd do this video. DV Mega, definitely the best face, best um, hotspots by far, in my opinion. High quality, bespoke made cases got the experience oh there goes the just turn that down bespoke make cases you know as created and assembled by experience tested and new features added as well that other hotspots don't have you know you'll find it very hard to have a, hot, a hotspot that has the functionality of this you won't find one that can actually send a message on the Poxag system, pager system, using DAPnet and Pistar. You can see that, let's just tap it and try again. 
the flags you have all the up to date flags time date dmr number ip address does show location history last heard it just goes on and on and on so and really they're not priced higher than other hotspots i've seen some for sale 300 pound and they're not no, they're nowhere near as good as these hotspots that's it really thanks for watching my channel thought i'd show this all together bye for now seven three